Good morning, my children, and once again, welcome back to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. For today, my children, we're going to continue with the review of letters of the alphabet, but in, in capital form. Now, yesterday, we commenced with the new letter, capital R. Now, if you remember, for capital R, we have an object that is in shape of a rectangle, looks like a box, has a speaker, so we can listen to music, and that is called radio, with capital R. Today, we are going to continue with another object that uses this letter. But before we commence with this, let's have an additional activity in which we have to join the letters, capital forms, with their small counterpart. Para el día de hoy, chicos, vamos a seguir trabajando con las letras del abecedario en su forma mayúscula y minúscula. Recuerden que el día de ayer nosotros ya empezamos a trabajar con la nueva letra, la capital R. Si ustedes recuerdan, uno de los objetos que vimos fue radio. Recuerden que un radio tiene una forma rectangular con una bocina que nos sirve para escuchar música. Ahora, el día de hoy vamos a continuar con capital R, pero vamos a ver un nuevo objeto. Pero antes de, de esto, vamos a hacer una actividad que nos va a ayudar a repasar las letras que ya hemos visto anteriormente. Now, behind the teacher Jacob, I have capital letters and small letters. We have to join, as I mentioned, it. vamos a unir las letras mayúsculas con la letra minúscula empezando con la capital A for airplane vamos a buscar dónde se encuentra small a para que de esa forma lo podamos unir so we have capital A right here of apple of airplane now where is small a dónde estará small a Right here, so capital A with small a. Now, let's continue with capital B of ball, balloon with small b. Capital B, right here. Now, where is small b? ¿Dónde está su forma minúscula de la capital B? Right here, very good. So, we join it. Now we have to be very careful not to cross the lines, okay? So we have to, found, we have to find blank spaces so we can track the line. Tenemos que tener cuidado en este ejercicio de no cruzar las líneas, sino tenemos que buscar espacios en blanco para ir en ese caminito, okay? So, Let's continue with capital C. The word, the objects with this letter, we have the coin and the clown. So, capital C, right here, where is small c? Right here, very good. This letter is not difficult because its form, capital form and small form are identical. Esta letra no era difícil porque su forma en mayúscula y minúscula es igualita. Next letter, capital D of dog. Right here. Now, where is, ¿dónde está small d? Right here. Excellent. Now, here is the tricky part. We have to be careful not to cross the lines. For example, I can't do this. No puedo hacer esto. Otherwise, I will cross this part right here. Porque si uno de esta forma estaré cruzando con esta línea. Okay, entonces, let's take another route. I found the solution. So, capital D with small d. Okay. Capital E of elephant. 
which is right here in color red. Now, where is small e? Right here? Of course it is. So, capital E with small e. Once again, we have to be very careful not to cross lines and not cross our lines. Now, next letter, capital F of fish, which is right here. Now, where is its small form of Fernando? Right here. Very good. As you can see, both letters are almost identical. In the case of a small f, we have a curve right here. This is horizontal. Okay? Vertical form, sorry. Como pueden ver, la f mayúscula y minúscula son casi similares. La diferencia es que la f minúscula tiene una curva en forma de gancho para conformar la letra. Y aquí tenemos únicamente línea vertical. So, capital F with small f. We have to be very careful also not to cross any letters. También en no cruzar las letras. So, le next letter, capital G of girl, grandmother. Right here. Now, let's look for small g of Geraldine, of Gerardo. Right here. Excellent. And finally, the last letter of this first part of the exercise. Capital H, which is right here in color red. Now, where is small h? It's right here. Very good. So, capital H with small h. Excellent. Now, those, those are the only letters that we are going to work for today. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with the second part which includes letter I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, and Q. Very good. Now, I will erase this additional activity to prepare the object of today. So, for capital R, the letter that we started yesterday, Today, we have the ruler. Now, the word ruler uses capital R. Now, what is a ruler? First of all, the ruler is an object that is made of plastic or wood. And we use it as a measuring object. Ruler in Spanish, regla. Una regla es un objeto ya sea hecho de plástico o de madera o inclusive hay reglas de metal que utilizamos como medio, como un objeto de medición. Quiere decir que vamos a utilizar esto para medir cualquier cosa. Ok, if you have the opportunity of observe a ruler, you will notice that it contains several numbers. Most predominantly from 0 to 30. So the ruler that I have here on the whiteboard only measures until number 5. Si ustedes han tenido la oportunidad de ver una regla, podrán ver que en ella tenemos los números del 0 al número 30. La regla que puse aquí para la explicación del objeto únicamente llega hasta el number 5. Under the ruler, I draw two objects, a mean of transportation, car, and an animal of the zoo, a, a snake. So, if you have the opportunity to check the numbers that I have right here, please help the teacher measure these new objects. Ustedes donde se encuentren, a ver si pueden ver los números que tenemos aquí, para que me ayuden a medir 
o para saber cuánto miden los objetos que tenemos el día de hoy aquí. Un medio de transporte, el carro y un animal de la, del zoológico, la serpiente. So, using the ruler, utilizando nuestra regla, let's measure, vamos a medir car. So, starting from number zero, let's see the car goes until number five. Okay, so from zero, number five, that's the whole measure. This is the medida completa of this car. Okay, now let's measure the animal. Ahora vamos con la serpiente, vamos a ver cuánto mide. So starting from number zero to number four, right here. So the snake is shorter or smaller than the car. Como podemos ver ahorita que ya medimos los dos objetos, pudimos notar que la serpiente es más pequeña que el carro. So, that's the purpose of a ruler, to measure all types of objects. Now, the most important part of this is that ruler uses capital R, the letter of today. Now, the activity is located right here, once again, in your teddy book, page 173-173. So, as you can see here, we have several examples of the capital R. So, using your pencil, we have to trace all of them. Remember, hold your pencil properly, three fingers, so we don't have problems with this activity. Now, while you are tracing, don't forget to repeat the name of it. Capital R. Capital R. Capital R is for radio and for ruler. After finishing all examples of the capital letter, we continue with the painting of the object. For the object, you can use any color that you want. Now, while you are painting the object, don't forget to repeat its name. Ruler. Ruler is an object of measure. Un objeto de medición. Ruler. Capital R. Now remember, on top of the page, we have a small sentence. I will read it for you. And it says, dice nuestra oración que aparece en la parte de arriba de nuestra actividad. This, this is my ruler. What is it? It's a ruler. What letter is it? It's capital R. Esta es mi regla. ¿Qué es esto? Es una regla. ¿Qué letra es? La R mayúscula. Capital R for ruler. Very good. So, that's it for today, my children. Teacher Jacob is very happy that you concentrate, that you pay attention on this beautiful new day of the week, Monday. Tomorrow, we continue with the small form of the letter. Until that day, have an excellent afternoon. Take care. Goodbye.